This episode has been brought to you by JustInform.com. If you're tired of being censored, tired of having your data stolen and sold, go to JustInform.com, a social media site where all voices are welcome. Now look, I didn't told y'all, stop messing with this woman. I, to- I told y'all. See, people don't understand that you oftentimes find the, your destination on the path you chose to avoid it. Um, and this is really true in politics, uh, even political commentary, uh, when it, Twitter personalities, Twitter personalities, influencers. This is the case, right? This is the Ben Shapiro's of the world, the Democrats, right? The the neoliberal establishment. Um, everybody. Tommy Loren, we'll do another video about that later. Um, Tommy Loren being another one. Uh, I mean, it's, it's really a, too many to name, right? Whoopi Goldberg, another one. AOC is one of many that I know personally, and partially including myself, who is on a very genuine and unique path that some people deem as a threat. Can you blame them? I mean, she's pretty much ta- talking about taking down the est- entire establishment. And essentially anybody who won't advocate for the policies, the progressive policies that she advocates for, she plans on backing their primary challengers. So I can, un- I can imagine why you would consider her a threat if you have absolutely no intention whatsoever on delivering on the promises that you supposedly kind of say you want, but then when you get behind closed doors and you get back to your job, you win your election, all of a sudden, you're nowhere to be found. So of course you'd feel threatened. And this is a phenomenon non-unique to AOC. However, no one else has benefited from this phenomenon more than AOC. And that is... They try to attack you, lobbying these these accusations, saying, thinking that they are on the winning side, thinking that they are on the, of, of the popular opinion. Um, and what you end up doing is boosting that that person's popularity because everything that she can point to shows that she has always been on their side. She has always been in the right. She has she, she stumbled every now and then. But as far as her moral compass is concerned, she's always been in the right. Since she's taken office, she hasn't been wrong at all. So. You just you bite. She bites back harder, gets more retweets, another couple hundred thousand followers. You bite. She bites back harder, gets more retweets and another couple of hundred thousand followers. And they tried to bite even harder this month by even threatening to challenge AOC. Let's look at how that went for them. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has raised over $100,000 towards her election in response to to a call to primary her uh, that was issued by an anonymous House Democrat. Think about that. Why would you even make that statement? You knew that this woman, this congresswoman, is so ridiculously popular. You knew that you couldn't even use your name to say that you didn't approve of her. Think about that. Think about that. What did you think was going to happen when you challenged her in public? At the end of the day, she's won over the people in a way that 99% of you all have no, have never seen, never experienced, and will never experience because you aren't organic, because you've taken corporate money, because you don't know what it means to take a stand. You you didn't work your way into your, your seat. Uh, you know, you were part of the network. You were part of the, of the, of the, the cabal, if you will. You were part of the, the, the elite, and you had your way assured in. AOC, once again, is one of us. 
I've been to a nice prestigious school and I've been a, 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 a bartender and a server and you know, I've I've lived in the hood and I got fortunate to be put in a situation where if it wasn't for the public school that I went to, despite my income, I probably wouldn't be the same person I am today. And of course, I would be attacked for it just like AOC was, which is kind of silly. It's weird, right, that they say that they want kids to be able to choose their schools and choose charter schools if they want to, but when AOC's parents did, they were bad. But that's neither here nor there. Look, let's continue. Um, Ocasio-Cortez's re-election campaign put out the call for donations in an email blast and Facebook advertisements after The Hill reported on Tuesday that an anonymous colleague had encouraged the New York congressional delegation to run someone against the Ocas Ocasio-Cortez. <clears throat> You've got numerous council people and state legislators who have been waiting 20 years for that seat, the anonymous lawmaker said. I'm sure they can find numerous people who want that seat in the district. <laughs> yeah, try her. Uh, look, try her. Seriously. Ocasio-Cortez's political operation immediately sought to cast the threat as an effort by the Washington establishment to tamp down her un unabashedly progressive pr agenda. Um... They're plotting a primary challenge because they don't like what that we're shaking things up in D.C., the campaign we're on the Facebook ad. We need to show how strong our campaign will be when they come for us in 2020. The ad continued. As of Friday morning, the email blast and the Facebook ads had netted a camp uh, had netted the campaign one hundred and five thousand dollars, according to Corbin Trent, the campaign spokesperson spokesman. It was a good opportunity for us to see what the base was willing to do and if they were going to stand by her in an event of the primary challenger. It was resounding. And yes, they will. Um, the sum adds to Ocasio's already substantial campaign war chest. The Bronx-based freshman who represents one of the most Democratic districts in the country had over $400,000 left over after the general election in November, mind you. <laughs> Those are all individual donations, not corporate. Ocasio-Cortez, who rocketed to political stardom since ousting rep former Representative Joe Crowley, then House Democratic Caucus Chairman, in a Democratic primary in June, has occasionally found, co found a cooler reception inside the halls of Congress than she has on the national stage. Um, but to start, incumbent Democrats are not fond of successful primary challengers. Representative Hakeem Jeffries reportedly run, won the race to secede uh, Crowley as chair of the House Democratic Caucus in November, thanks to a false rumor that his opponent, Barbara Lee, had backed Ocasio's primary bid. That is interesting, isn't it? Isn't that funny? Just because you were going to upset the balance, you lose your caucus. Whoa. Hold on. Is it is it because you're worried that someone's going to come in and... and, and call out your nonsense and how lazy you are and how you really aren't there to work for us. And uh, if if you don't do what we want, then she's going to make sure you get primary. I don't know. Maybe that's it. I'm just the guy behind the microphone reading the article that says that's exactly what's happening. But that's neither here nor there. Um, Ocasio's ties to the Justice Democrats, a left wing group that pe played in a, a key role in her upset. Uh, have ra have also raised eyebrows. In November, Casio Cortez joined a conference call that Justice Democrats convened with activists announced, uh, announcing that the group is recruiting candidates to challenge centrists in safe blue seats. Justice Democrats announced earlier this month that its first target would be Representative Henry Cullier, uh, a centrist Texas Democrat who raised money for a Republican incumbent in a tough re-election battle. Um, now, I will say that I'm not a big fan of the Justice Democrats, um, and I'll explain why uh, in another another video. But um, they, they have their issues. And some of the people there, Ocasio is a rare one within the Justice Democrats. And, and once again, that will be explained in, a, in another video. But all this shows is that once again, when you are genuine, when you are doing the right thing, 
when you are elected and funded by the people, the people will most often stand beside you. This isn't the only example of this that we've seen, by the way. Tulsi Gabbard, they ran over a dozen candidates against her in her primary. She smacked all of them and raised a lot of money doing so. That should probably tell you something. Almost every candidate who is in the, in uh, in the national eye, who is taking no corporate money, has done an absolutely fantastic job at raising money, keeping their awareness high, and they've been doing it by promoting the message that we are here to take back this legislature in the name of the people. It's really not a hard recipe. It really isn't. And if y'all keep playing with this woman, you're going to lose your seat. Let her find out who said that. Let her, I promise you, when she finds out who says that, I know her well enough to know you're going to get blasted, you're going to get primaried, and you're probably going to lose. I'm just saying. I'm not saying. I'm just saying. Once again, I'm not an expert, but I know how to read. I know how to look up results. I know how to use Google. And, um... Things don't tend to work out well for people who argue with a couple of people. Who, if you if you don't see eye to eye with a Bernie Sanders on particular issues, like Asherah Brown today, he just tweeted out, "It's not practical for Medicare for all." Literally, anyone who would have backed him is gone. He's done. That's his entire. He's an idiot for that. He's done. Remember how I always said, who's Sherrod Brown? Exactly. That's what just happened today. Who the hell is Sherrod Brown? You can't go against these people. They are just in a different stratosphere when it comes to their support base. So I'm just saying, Democrats, if you can't beat them, then maybe you should join her. Maybe. I don't know. But it may bode a little bit better for your career if you did decide to join her. Just saying. Thanks for watching that segment of Mikasa Sukasa. You can donate to our Patreon and keep helping the network grow by clicking on the link in the description below. And also, make sure you join us at justinform.com. And finally, make sure you subscribe to us on Roku and be part of the very first independent news network on Roku TV. But more than anything else, always remember. Find your balance. Peace.